Oh, you married me? <laughs> Cutting me off okay. there. I'll, all right, I'll go over this way. <laughs> oh, sugar, it's so Hi. nice to meet you. Oh, I love you. Oh, oh my, thank you. Oh. And you even got your green on. Disney World is supposed to be one of the happiest places on earth for both families and individuals who journey to visit and experience its magic. As of August 21st, 2023, there have been a combined reported 87 fatalities at Disneyland and Disney World since the parks opened, 67 of which have been at Disney World alone. On October 5th, 2023, unfortunately, there was one more. On October 5, 2023, Raglan Road, an authentic Irish pub and restaurant at Disney Springs, formerly known as Downtown Disney, a complex at Disney World, Florida, was the dinner destination for Dr. Kanukporn Teng Swan, her husband of six years, Jeffrey Piccolo, and his mother. It will be the last time they'd all be together. Raglan Road is a popular quick service hangout featuring modern Irish food, live Celtic music, and dancers. Some say it is available by reservation only, while the website simply recommends them as it is generally very busy and packed seven days a week and is known for its loud, exciting atmosphere. Various patrons have remarked how it is difficult to have conversation with even the person sitting next to you, but the restaurant has much to offer by way of entertainment. I mentioned that Raglan Road is quick service because by that descriptor, it is meant to be understood that they have less personalized service and staff or chefs that can help find allergy-friendly foods when compared to the sit-down restaurant options. Dr. Ten Swan, who went by the nickname Amy with friends and family and affectionately called Dr. T or Dr. Tang by her patients and colleagues, was born July 6, 1981. She was a 42-year-old family doctor at NYU Langone, one of the nation's premier academic medical centers. As a daughter of Thai immigrants, she had traveled to Thailand to treat children as part of her involvement in charity work. She's described by her family and former patients as being kind, gentle, down-to-earth, and having a great sense of humor. She was a wife and only child. Although Dr. T, the breadwinner for her family, did not take her husband's last name, she was described as being madly in love with him, and she and her husband were looking forward to one day starting a family of their own. One entry in her obituary describes her as being a great physician and an even better human. Another entry from an older cousin recalls having lunch with Dr. Tang a few years prior and remarked jokingly on how Dr. Tang and her father had polished off the snapper down to the bone, and yet another entry recalls catching up with Dr. Tang over dim sum a few weeks prior to her passing. It is clear Dr. T did not let her dietary restrictions restrict her from enjoying a meal out. She seemed to have faith that her extreme allergy to dairy and nuts would be respected and honored by the various links in the chain of restaurant staff and was hypervigilant about what she ate and reminding the staff of her allergies while still carrying an EpiPen whenever she went out. Disney has developed a reputation for being allergy friendly and has become a trusted vacation spot for food allergy families as it is believed that they take food allergies very seriously and that if you communicate with them, the chef, him or herself, will consult with you and serve the food to you directly. 
Raglan has maintained that it is not an allergy-free establishment, and a comment from the manager to the Post said that staffers were trained to take food allergies very seriously even before Tanksman's death, but are now asking diners whether they have any restrictions when taking orders. It is well known that the resort's food allergy menus can change quickly and are not always updated in the app just as fast. As of March 2024, the Raglan Road website now includes this warning regarding food allergies. Dinner at Raglan Road on October 5th was meant to be a night of fun in the middle of a week-long work conference attended by Dr. Tang and her husband. That night, Dr. T placed an order for shepherd's pie, onion rings, vegan scallops, and vegan fritters of corn and broccoli. By 8 p.m., her husband states he'd taken the leftovers back to the hotel room alone while his wife and mother had gone out shopping in the complex. Dr. Tang and her mother-in-law had decided to split up and go to different stores. Dr. Tang began having shortness of breath and stepped into a nearby dining location where she self-administered an EpiPen only to collapse around 8.45 p.m., which led a bystander to phone 911. It was also a bystander who answered Dr. Tang's phone to deliver the news to her husband, Mr. Piccolo. By the time he arrived at the hospital, she was gone. She died of severe anaphylaxis the same day she arrived at the resort. Her father had driven her to the airport that morning, and by 11 p.m. that night, he had received the devastating news. While 65% of reported incidents at Disney parks do not result in a lawsuit, Dr. Tang's husband, who has made a career as a bank relationship manager, has filed a wrongful death lawsuit in excess of just 50 k citing the restaurant was negligent. Ignoring his and Dr. Tang's repeated warnings that she required allergen-free food, Dr. Tang's family has said they have no involvement in the lawsuit. The lawsuit reads that Dr. Tang was assured multiple times that her food was allergen-free before and after some dishes arrived without any allergen-free flags. It is extremely sad that someone who worked to dedicate their life to the health of others would pass in this manner, putting her life in the hands of restaurant staff believing that they had enough safeguards in place to keep her safe. The lawsuit alleges that both Disney and Raglan advertised they handled special accommodations for people with food allergies, which is why the trio decided to eat at the Irish eatery. Her grieving father notes the irony of this, stating that his daughter, who had her first allergic reaction as a child, initially went into medicine because of her life-threatening allergies. Social media is raising questions, some describing the EpiPen not working as freaky and questioning the timing of Dr. Tang's allergy reaction since it took nearly 45 minutes when a typical reaction time is about 5. Why, in addition to dairy, there were traces of various types of nuts found in her system when the only nut on the raglan menu is pecans as of the making of this video. And if it could be possible, she ate somewhere else after she'd left raglan some even questioning the state of her and her husband's marriage. After the trip to Disney, the couple were set to drive across the country in an RV they had purchased together. Despite these numerous theories beginning to circulate, Dr. Tang's father believes the restaurant to be solely responsible and states he was told the ambulance was slow to respond to his daughter's collapse. We do not know all the facts of this developing story, and all statements are alleged based on the information that has been presented to the public in order to raise allergen awareness. Dr. Tang was a daughter, wife, and friend, and I hope that all of her loved ones find healing. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.